I mean, I remember two years ago when the pandemic first hit and, and we were at the point of closure. Um, you know, we're a tiny charity set up by mum and dad and, you know, they're getting older, not younger, bless them. And it suddenly dawned on me that we didn't have the funds to survive. So I've really worked over the last two years to to build the, the, the charity to a, to a sustainable point. And, and we were getting somewhere. We had plans in place to deliver one-to-one -one therapy for free, which is, you know, we know how expensive therapy can be. Um, we also have just about to launch the Recovery After Recovery program, which is set to help up to 250 people in the Hull and East Riding area alone. And that pilot, the dream of that pilot was that if we, we got the outcomes that we know we can achieve in actually helping people, we can roll that out UK wide. How, how were we meant to, how were we meant to deliver what all we want to do is deliver it, you know? And how are we meant to do that when this 25,000 pound apparently is being reinvested elsewhere but we don't know exactly what is going to be delivered elsewhere but at the moment we are the only voluntary sector uh, eating disorder organization in Hull and East Riding but we're the second most visited website next to Beat UK wide 